Hello! This is how to make a custom skybox in Zandronum Doom 2 format within GZ Doom Builder. Now this here is not for a, an entire total conversion, it's per a level. If you want to make a unique skybox for a total conversion or something more complex, you need to go into Slade, Slade 3 to be specific, make your own skybox texture, import it in there, and mess around with the settings. But no, this tutorial is for one reason, it's for a level. So you're making a custom skybox within the map, a separate room that happens to only affect the skybox of the level. If you add a custom skybox in Slade, it affects several different patches of levels, depending on how you define it in uh, one of the TXT files. So first, of course, you're going to need two rooms. You're going to need one room with one guy and to view the skybox if you're testing this out. But let's disregard that. Let's focus on just the skybox. Now first, you're going to need to put a small, tiny, minuscule, little box, little sector room at the very center of the level. Of the room. My apologies, of the room. Now this here is important. You're going to want to raise it up, because this is where we're going to put the... Um, the thing that makes the skybox. Now, if you're using Xandronum Doom 2 format, which I suggest, this works in other formats as well, other complex formats, is you're going to need to go to Cameras and Interpolation and click Skybox Viewpoint. Now, it's about a pixel in size, so this is why we've made this little bar so very small. And if you put this before you put that, that's fine. If you tap T in 3D mode, that then makes all things disappear and you could raise it up and down as much as you like. Now what the player is going to see is these walls and this uh, roof. The floor they probably won't see unless they look directly down. So when you're making a skybox, you're going to want to put this tiny little sector in the area you want the player to see first. So if the player looks straight ahead into the skybox, they'll see what is straight ahead into here. Let me turn off gravity to give you better... Oh, it's so small I can't. Well, if you, here, you can see better with these arrows on the sides. So where the player stands perfectly at the zero height uh, for the floor offset, that's exactly what they'll see along these lines. So if you put the skybox up here, they'll see this part of the skybox. And if they put it down here, they'll see this bottom part of the skybox looking straight ahead. So now, let's make your custom skybox. Now I'm going to be using Doom 2 base textures for easier purpose. And we're going to make it a hellish aesthetic. We're going to make it fire lava. And this blood. That's it. That's all you need to get a basic skybox going. Now, there, we can make a lot more complex ones. I'll show you that in a second. Making it square is not a good idea. Circular, though, if you curve the line depths and add some stuff, it looks a lot better. Here you go. This is how the skybox will look to the player. See, very squarish, but we can improve on that. And for some reason, the fire lava textures are not animating. What a shame. The blood is, though. And let's ID clip out of here real quick. And check out the skybox texture. Oh, skybox room. Alright, let's say we want to make it better, because so far it's not that good. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want a curved... Uh, oh, give me a sec. This little uh, vertice here, try to get away from me. You're going to want to make a curved skybox, a circular one. You can do that by selecting all the lines and clicking that curved angle tool. Here you go. Maybe I gotta make it fire lava one. Oh, <laughs> it's just not animating. There you go, fire lava. 
All right, now this is where you can get real creative with the skyboxes. You can add like little rocks and things. So let's say I want to make it look like a volcano, you know, a volcano in hell. So when the player looks out towards the distance, they see fiery hell and a volcano. Now to make the volcano look bigger than what it is, it's best that you curve the line depths like so and add certain rock textures. This can be done for a number of things. So you want to make like a city uh, skybox type thing. If you're going for more of an urban urban environment. You're going to want to uh, add it like this, make this part a bunch of stars if it's during the nighttime. And then you're going to want to lift things that are made to look like buildings like this upwards. So when you look in the skybox, you see giant buildings all throughout. But it's really just this little small thing. Let's make this part, the skybox, the uh, mountain, and the rest of this just regular planes, as plain as hell can get. I don't know what, ah, uh, shame. Let's we'll type it up here. <laughs> Red wall. So yeah, this is going to be the Red Rock Mountainous Lava Pit. And you could add some lava and whatever, but this is just an example, so let's not get out of hand. Like the rest of it, this good stuff. Alrighty, now let's test out the skybox with a bit more creativity. Here we go. As you can see, you, it's a giant rocky structure. And you got some of the lesser variants over here with the right walk tech, right white rock texture. But you see, you can't really see it that well. Like I said, it's the position of the skybox. So we're just going to fix that real quick and call it a day. Now from this angle, the player will be able to see these and this a lot more, a lot better. not that much better but you get the gist you can lower the skybox texture a lot more if you want to make it seem better but overall it still stands like this anyway that's how you make a skybox texture that's it you can go leave the video now it's good by me but i'm gonna i'm gonna want to fix this because i got some ideas of my own And I'm going to show you some cool trips uh, and tricks if you want to make your skybox a bit better. And it actually has to do with these walls right here, since they're blocking my vision. Now this is another cool trick you can use in Jandronum, and it's called a uh, Event Line Horizon. Yes, that's what it was. Go ahead and just make this uh, 337, Line Horizons. And what that does, that simulates what the skybox looking like it goes on forever would be. You can use line horizons in any map, 
and it will match the skybox. I like using it in like ocean maps or castle maps that have an outlook, like a dot balcony or a viewpoint, to make it seem like it goes on for a lot longer than it really does. You know, it's a horizon. There you go. Skybox looks a lot more realistic. Much bigger, you know? Like an actual mountain almost. It, except it won't be unless I edit the hell out of Doom, but it's how it is, and I like it.